Hi Lindsay, this is Stephanie and I just wanted to give you a really quick video on an idea I came up with for diagramming your sentences. Um, I was trying to find an interactive tool that's computer based and I kind of struggled with one that was specifically made for interactively diagramming sentences. So I came up with a little bit of a workaround and um, you know I just, just thought I'd show it to you and see if it truly would be helpful or if it's just too busy for you to even be useful. Um, this is utilizing Google Draw. I know you said that you used a lot of Google Docs in your classroom already, so I thought this would be a really easy way to integrate, you know, because your, your students are already familiar with the way it works. Um, Google Draw is basically the same thing. You can have multiple people working on the same thing, so there is that interactive piece. So you could either use it in your whole classroom environment, you know, with you having your screen up on the TV and the kids all having computers, or you know you could assign it for kids to work in pairs or you could assign it as homework you know there's a couple different ways that you could do it um, I also thought there were a couple different forms you could do it in uh, you can see I kind of have I have one sentence here and I have the the frame already built and I also have the words so that the students can move them easily whereas here it's just the sentence so you know depending on how much time you have or what you think your students are capable of um, I thought this would be kind of ways to make it either more or less challenging or take up more time or less time. So we'll just pretend that this is your computer as the teacher and then this is obviously just a student computer so you can kind of see how it would look on both sides and again it's just like Google Docs so I'm sure you're already kind of familiar with it. But this was kind of what I was thinking for just a really quick maybe bell ringer activity at the beginning of class would to have be something more like this where it's already pre-made and then Maybe you just give each kid a word and say, okay, you know, Stacy put dog where it goes. Um, Jane put lazy where it goes. Tom put the where it goes. So then the student from their side, all they have to do is come over to their screen and, you know, move the word where they think it goes to be effective with the diagramming. So, you know, each student would be assigned a word. And then once the students place all their word, um, words you can ask the kids okay does that look right and you know it's another way that the kids could move it around maybe one of the kids got their word wrong so you know they can move it to where it's supposed to be um, obviously that's not where it's supposed to be but that would be kind of a really quick easy way to just do a, a fast sentence diagramming that you know the kids could all be interactively working with um, or even if you didn't want the kids to be moving stuff they could physically see where you put the part of speech. Um, the alternative way that would take a little bit more time but um, you know would make the students work a little bit more so maybe this is something they do when they're a little bit more advanced in sentence diagramming would be to actually build it themselves. Um, it's really quick. You can, I'll just show you really quickly how fast it is to um, draw one of these. So you know you can just put in your basic stuff And then, and you'll have to forgive me, I chose really easy sentences because it's been a really long time since I diagrammed sentences. So, you know, then they would actually take the text box and all they would really have to know um, was how to use the line tool and how to use the text box tool. So I think it's definitely doable for your age group, um, but I just didn't know if you thought it would be too busy or not. So I just wanted to show it to you and get some feedback from you and see if you think it's it's something that would be practical. If it is something you think would be practical, um, I'd be happy to help you create these templates if you gave me the sentences that you want to use with the answers because I wouldn't want to screw it up. I would be happy to actually build, you know, the sentence and the structure with the with the movable words or however you wanted to do it. That would be something I could help you with to save you a little bit of time. So uh, let me know what you think.